Hey everyone, Liam Duran here, and uh, yeah, I'm out for a little Nordic ski. And as you'll see, I've got a little photo pack with me. That's because out here, there are a couple of big bull moose that have been hanging out. And uh, we're gonna go try and find them. So here we go. So what I'm doing now is just scouring the forest left and right of me, looking for tracks. Um, as you can imagine, it's much easier to find moose when there's a lot of snow on the ground. They give themselves up a lot easier. So uh, we're gonna keep cruising here, see if we find any fresh tracks and, uh, and any moose that made them. Well, that, my friends, is what a moose bed looks like. Still haven't seen them yet, though. They're out here somewhere. Anyhow, um, I figured what I'd share with you guys real quick is uh, some of the gear I'm using to get around, as I've showed you on my Nordic gear, which if you've ever skied on Nordic gear, you know that it offers you basically, you know, no support at all. It's like wearing house slippers. So you don't really want to carry a, a big pack or much gear. You can't really haul much weight on such light, flimsy ski gear. So all I'm really using for my moose photography right now is um, the Sigma 100-400, the DGDN, and that's mounted right onto the Sony A7R4. So that's that right there. Um, and that's a nice light little setup. It fits in my smaller pack very easily. Um, and it lets me, you know, basically gives me freedom of movement to cruise through the woods without being encumbered by a ton of gear. So that. Okay, so we've seen a bunch of tracks and uh, we have visual confirmation on a moose down lower and it is a big bull not sure which one it is but one of them um, there's tracks right here so um, we're, we're probably gonna see a moose here so what I like to do is before I get there is make sure my camera is set up and ready to go because we don't know how long or how many chances we're gonna get to get a photo of the moose so we want to be prepared so I have my camera on I'm gonna check all the settings. Make sure my ISO, my shutter speed, f-stop, uh, everything is set exactly where I want it. So when and, well, if and when we run into the moose, uh, we're prepared and ready to get a shot. So uh, here we go. That was a big one. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's what I was expecting. Oh, there's his tracks right there. I see him. Okay, getting closer. Okay, well, we did see the moose, uh, two bulls, but they're pretty deep in the woods and Honestly, I don't want to be pushing them in there. It's not good for them. We're going to leave them be. Um, it's a little dangerous for me, too. It's very thick, heavy timber. It's very hard to get around on skis right now with the snowpack as it is. So, so the only really right thing to do is just to let them be and uh, come back another day. Hopefully, tomorrow we come out here and they uh, still have their paddles on. So we shall see. But I think that's going to wrap it up for today. So. I went back out the next day and found that bull pretty quickly. I used all the same gear and strategies as the day before and came away with some pretty nice shots. Wildlife photography is challenging, fun, rewarding, and a great way to connect with the world around you. If you liked the video, please do give a like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you out there.